Hello everyone, my name is Jens Fudge. I'm an Embarcadero MVP. I work as a trainer and a consultant. If you have a need to contact me, you can do so on jensfudge.argesoft.dk or just search my name on any of the uh, social media. I'm the only person in the world with this name, so hey, I should be easy, easy to find. Have you ever had the need to have a mobile application where you want to display a screen on top of another screen so it's like a kind of a see-through thing just like the dialogues do you can do those that with dialogues of course but what if you want some graphics on there you want to do anything like that well the way that I could uh, figure out to do this is using the T layout to uh, move the parent property around on that so it's going to have a demonstration of this where I'm going to show you how to do just that so I have here a multi-device application and this is the main form. The main form is very boring, it just has the button on it and when you click the button what I want to happen is to another dialog to appear on top of the form uh, and the other dialog is going to be a see-through dialog but uh, with a dark thing so that you cannot and uh, the user can see automatically they cannot click outside of the dialog. So this is the dialog that I've created and this is what it looks like. So to be able to create this dialog, if you go over here to the structure pane and look what's in here actually, well there's the first thing that I put on the form is a layout that I call layout dialog. Then I put a rectangle background on it. I set the color of the rectangle to uh, black and then I set the opacity to a half. I've put a rectangle front in, in on top of the background rectangle. I've put an image on there, I've put a layout, the layout has an ellipsis, it has a label and it has a shadow effect and I've also on the image inside of the layout here put a glow effect on so that when you win the prize you get a shiny pile of golden coins so everyone is going to be very happy about this. So let me, before I tell you, show you how the code is getting this to work, I'm just going to uh, start the application. Of course you're going to see it on the windows now, but that's fine. It's going to be more or less the same on a mobile device. So when I run this, this is the form, hit the button and then everything is on top of there where you have, hey, you won the prize thing. And you can even click the X here and when you do so, there is a uh, message box, the user won and then it closes up. So of course to be able to do this I have built two forms. I have the main form with the button and I have the dialogue form where I've built up the dialogue here as you see. And when you press the button on the main form all that happens is actually I'm going to the form dialogue and I have a method there called show dialogue with self and did win. And the did win parameter is a procedure here of objects. So this is a T notify event. This is of course because I do not want to have any circular references in this application here. So my main form is um, has the U dialog form in its uses clause, but the U dialog form does not have any reference at all to the main form. So I pass in the reference to a, a T notify event here. And let's see the code on the form dialog here. Well, the show dialog code is on cross click is a click. The a click thing is of course the passed in reference to the T notify event. Oh, let me just change. Yeah, that's good. So you can see the code here. I want only code. So yeah, I pass in this a click, which is the to notify event, and the a parent, which is the form that is calling this. So I set the click notify event to be in uh, on the field. Then I set the layout dialogs parent property, and this is kind of the important thing here. I set the parent property to whichever parent I'm moving over there. So in effect, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the layout, the first object that I put on the form, and I'm moving that from the second form or the dialog form, if you will, to the main form, just sticking it on top of everything else. On the image one click, that's the red X. I'm checking if the F on cross clicked is assigned, and if it is, I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to put the layouts, uh, the layout dialog dot parents back to self. So now the dialog form has the parentship of the layout in it again. 
and thus it is no longer visible here. Okay, so this is the all of the code that is here, and this is how it works. And if I get back to my slideshow, the next page here is thank you very much for attending. I hope you find this tip useful. Um, my email address is on this screen here where there is also a link to the code where you can download this uh, code that I have built. Uh, please do note that the um, link to the code is case sensitive so it's code rage 2019 with a capital C and a capital R. Thank you very much for attending.